So, because it's a fucking Disney film, and mostly because the princess is too much of a pussy to do it on her fucking show, and it doesn't fit my style. What the fuck? And, you know, mostly because it's the Summer Olympics season, the fuck do I know about sports? fucking like sports. Fuck. So, in honor of all that bullshit, we're viewing the 1993 classic, Cool Runnings. You know, that silly comedy based on the real life story of the first ever Jamaican bobsled team? What? That's no big deal to you? Because Jamaican bobsled teams are fucking common nowadays? Fucking youngsters. Alright, gentlemen. This is the best. Alright. Let's go! We now come to the second chance for the four intrepid men from Jamaica. What do they have to do, Judge? It was a huge deal in fucking 1988. Because before then, there were no Jamaican bobsled teams. I mean, fuck, what were the Jamaicans known for back then? Aside from being, you know, a wonderful holiday escape vacation. Hell, mostly fucking good rum and fucking good pot. So back then, what the fuck would they know about winter sports? I mean, fuck, they don't even know what snow and fucking ice are. If I've said it once, I've said it 46 times. Cold weather endurance is vital to building a successful sled team. Cold enough? <laughs> so what's this goddamn mouse house shit all about? Well, we fucking open with a bunch of Olympic potential sprinters who fucking missed their chance because of a clumsy fuck. We're also introduced to the number one champion, Kart Racer, which is fucking hilarious. Alright team, let's get ready for the pre-race cheer. Ready? Yes, yes sir! Ready? Yes sir! Alright, one, two, three, two, Who's the captain of our crew? Who's a friend to me and you? Kinda nice, good looking too. Sanka, Sanka, yay, Sanka! <laughs> get back to work! His name's fucking Sanka Coffee. Come on, he's named after a fucking brand of coffee. So, because these stupid fucks missed their chance to be sprinters in the Olympics, they decide, fuck it, we'll be bobsledders, because there's a nearby bobsledding coach. We had some theory about using track sprinters to push the bobsled, some ridiculous thing like that. Can you imagine a Jamaican bobsledder? Are you sure this man, he lives on the island? Oh, yes. Mr. Cootis, thanks a lot. Good, there is. Oh, can I borrow his picture? Bring it back. Yes, thanks a lot, Mr. Cootis. Oh, just one more thing. Hmm? What's a bobsled? A fucking disgraced one at that, as portrayed by fucking John Candy. Man, we miss him. won two gold medals? I think so. So, as a result, they get this coach to help them become bobsledders. Hilarity and slews. Going back to my comment about all that Jamaican rum and fucking pot, dear God, I think half the team is on it. If it wasn't for you, rich boy, I'd be in the Olympics right now. I don't know what you all are arguing about, because Doris was going to beat both of your butts anyway. What are you talking about? How about I beat your butt right now? How about I draw a line down the middle of your head so it looks like a butt? <laughs> Hell, their parents must have been naming one kid after a brand of coffee and the other one after fucking a 8-bit robotic Terminator cowboy. Your move. So, this band of fucking misfits get their bobsled training and make their way to Calgary, Alberta, Canada, only to be laughed at and jeered at by their peers. So to self, huh? 
Now listen up, fellas. I don't want you to worry about looking good out there. Ah, uh, Blitzy. You're going to tuck them in, too? <laughs> hey, seem into you like nobody likes us. We're different. Fuck, they almost even get disqualified. Why? Because fucking Jamaican bobsledders back then were a huge fucking joke. Excuse me. To the man in the iron suit! To the man in the To the messenger! To the messenger! To the messenger. <laughs> We are officially disqualified. Do they win in the Olympics? Well, not exactly. It depends on your fucking opinion. But it is heartwarming and fucking uplifting. Overall, it's a fucking good flip. Watch these pig fucking fish out of water as they attempt to be bobsledders. It's fucking great. <laughs> and of course, it's based on a fucking true story, but all the names were changed to protect the goddamn innocent. worth a watch. I give it a goddamn four tokes out of five. So in conclusion, it's goddamn worth watching. What the fuck are you still doing here? Get out of here, you little shits. Now look in the mirror and tell me what you see. I see Junior. You see Junior. Well, you want to know what I see? I see pride. I see power. I see a badass mother who don't take no crap of nobody. You really see all that? Yeah, man. But it's not about what I see. It's about what you see. Now look in this mirror and tell me again what you see. <clears throat> what I see. Pride. Pride. Right. Power. Power. See. A badass mother who don't won't take, take no, no crap off of nobody. Again! I see pride. Can I hear you? I see power. I see a badass mother who won't take no crap off of nobody. Once again! I see pride. Junior! I see power. I see a badass mother who won't take no crap off of nobody. That's right! That's right, Junior Bevel. Where, where, where are you going? Now you listen to me, buddy. I will not be talked to that way, so you better come up with a damn good apology, or else. Or else, fart. How? Oh. Hey, Jimmy. Or else, fart. Oh. Come on, Jamaica. Say something. No problem, man. 